Official autopsy results may not be released for weeks, so there's a lot of speculation about what exactly happened. ABC's Jim Avila is at the scene of the tragedy at the Beverly Hilton in Los Angeles. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Robin. ABC News has learned that police and coroner's investigators found only a small amount of prescription drugs in Whitney Houston's suite, and now they must depend upon toxicology reports that are weeks away to determine if those drugs had anything to do with her death. A vigil for Whitney Houston in central Los Angeles. And there will never be another Whitney Houston. But as her fans mourn, there are still questions about what killed the 48-year-old struggling superstar. ABC News has confirmed it was Houston's aunt, Mary Jones, who found her in the bathtub and tried to revive her before paramedics were on the scene. Coroner's investigators know prescription drugs, including an antibiotic and Valium, were found in her bathroom. And they know there was alcohol. These pictures, obtained by TMZ, show evidence of champagne and Heineken in the suite and on the floor next to the tub where she died. What investigators don't know is how much was in her body, and until toxicology comes back, they will not determine the precise cause of death. No matter what medications they're taking, until we run a tox and see the level and what's in the system, we're not going to speculate. Beverly Hills police say it's a coroner's death investigation at this time, not a murder investigation. And sources tell ABC News there were no signs of trauma, foul play, or illegal drugs in the room. As of right now, it's not a criminal investigation. The police and coroner's offices say despite reports to the contrary, they have released no information about how Houston died. Have your officers told the family any cause of death? No. We don't know the cause of death. We would not have relayed that information to anybody. And while there were accounts of erratic behavior by Houston in the buildup for the Grammys, friends say she was fine. Movie producer Harvey Mason was working on her comeback film, Sparkle, and saw her just last week. She seemed great. She was upbeat, very optimistic, very excited about the project. ABC News has been told it was in fact Whitney Houston's Aunt Mary who first pulled her from the tub and then tried CPR on her. It was 20 minutes of efforts by people around Whitney Houston while she was on the bathroom floor. None of it, of course, was successful.